Hi there, Happy New Year to you. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas period and you're looking forward to making a fresh start to 2019 and turning over a new leaf. And hopefully that includes your English learning. But how are you going to make this year different to last year? How can you improve your English faster? Well, with my help, you can create better English learning habits. And I'll tell you more about how you can get my free blueprint later to help you do that. But I wanted to talk to you about how you can stop falling off the wagon, as we say in English. When you start to do something, you have good intentions, in this case, your English learning, but after a few weeks, you fall off the wagon and you uh, stop. I'm going to talk today about priority, time and accountability. And these are the three things you really need to focus on if you're going to create a great new habit of learning English and making some big improvements in your English this year. So with priority, I want you to think about where English sits in your list of priorities in life. Is it one of the most important things? Is it, is it up here or is it down here? Uh, what you can do when you download my free blueprint is list those important things in your life and be honest about where English is. And then I want you to think about how much time you can realistically devote to learning English. And you've probably heard a lot of people say uh, that frequency is better than uh, one big block of time. So if you can be studying for a few minutes every day, it's better than doing it once a week for a larger amount of time. So. Uh, the blueprint will help you to look at every day in the week and decide whether that day is good for you and if so, how much time during that day can you devote to learning English? Um, and I'd rather see you doing five or ten minutes every day than one or two hours every Saturday, for example. Uh, and then Accountability is, a, is another level where you can ask somebody who you see regularly to keep you accountable and they will be able to ask you, David, did you do your English today? Andrea, have you studied your English today? And that's very important because those people will help to keep you not motivated, but they'll help to remind you and you will feel more honest about keeping your English going. These three things are very important if you want to maintain or start a good new English habit in 2019. So if you want to click the link below, it'll take you to my website. Uh, you can read more about what I've just told you and you will find there a link to get your free download which will help you uh, to make 2019 your best year yet for learning English. So go there, download the English Habit Blueprint and I'll speak to you again soon. All the best, take care, bye bye.